Hi, welcome to Video Maker Tutorial by Design Store AI. This tutorial will enable you to learn how to create videos smarter, faster, and easier with Video Maker. We are giving out one free Video Maker credit worth $66 to get you started on your first video. All you have to do is to subscribe to our Designs.ai YouTube channel or follow our Facebook page if you are watching live from there and put a comment below with Video Maker credit. I repeat, subscribe or follow and comment below with Video Maker credit. Now before we go into Video Maker tutorial, let's address the main challenges or misconceptions when it comes to video making. Inaccessibility and steep learning curve are one of the main obstacles as most video editing software requires installation and a complicated interface doesn't help any better. But this is not the case for Video Maker as Designs.ai is cloud-based which means it is accessible from anywhere and anytime with just an internet connection. Video Maker incorporates propriety AI technology which makes video creation faster, smarter and easier. Video Maker eliminates the barrier of entry for those without the technical know-how by making the process streamlined. You move from one logical step to the next without having to figure things out by yourself. Whatever changes you make are safe on the cloud, which means you can resume editing anytime without worrying about storage. Content creation. It can be nerve-wracking sourcing or recording your own video content, let alone video editing. But Video Maker got you covered with a library of assets with everything you need. There are altogether a variety of 5.5 million videos, 150 million images, 100,000 audio tracks, and multiple language options for voiceovers, making it so much easier with Video Maker. This translates to faster productivity so that you can concentrate on maximizing your video objectives and never worry about content. Costly Commitment You may be fighting the perception that video making is a huge commitment, and you're not wrong. Famous video editors such as Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, and Corel Video Studio start from hundreds of dollars and does not even include content. However, you don't have to purchase a plan to create a draft video on Video Maker. It is absolutely free and easy to draft a video. Once you're ready, sign up for a plan according to your needs. Plans are available from a one-off to multiple video projects, with pricing plans from as low as $20 per video. Video Maker does provide special plans for agencies who require a larger volume of videos with unlimited video projects. So do inquire about Video Maker Enterprise Plan if you require a larger volume. Now that we have addressed the main challenges of video making, let's learn how to create one with Video Maker. Over to you, Kevin. Hello all, thanks for tuning in. As mentioned by Terence, we are going to take a look at how to create a video using Video Maker. All we need is a script and we are good to go. Video Maker works best with Firefox and Chrome, so I suggest you guys to work with these two browsers. Let's get started. Head on to designs.ai slash videomaker slash start. Over here, we have our title input, our script input, and our color theme selection. Our title determines the project name, so we can easily identify them in our dashboard. Let's go ahead and create a simple informational video. Give it a title. Let's just call it five simple protective measures. All right. I've prepared a script, which I'm just gonna copy and paste it in. Right. Couple of pointers. Do introduce comma on longer sentences so that viewers can catch a breath. Video Maker also captures sentences when there's a full stop. So we ought to structure our sentences and let Video Maker handle the rest. Let's select a color. We have some preset colors here that we can select and we can change the text color over here. We just stick to white color and maybe we give it a different shade of green. Right, that looks good. So hit next. And over here, Video Maker will suggest some industry keywords for us automatically. 
if you can't find what you're looking for, you can always select the drop down and just browse through until we find a suitable industry for our video. For this case, we just go with medical and healthcare. Hit next and we'll be landed on the mood section. Mood is where the video maker will pair suitable music to your video. We have a wide selection of bold, calming, inspiring moods. Now let's just pick one and preview. Alright, inspiring sounds good, so we'll go with this. Hit next and over here, there's a language that has been detected for us. And we're just going to go ahead and select the voiceover. Let's go with Matthew and give it a preview. Welcome to Video Maker. This is my voice sample. Right, that sounds good. So let's hit next. And we should see that Video Maker or the AI is stitching our video for us. Let's give it a few seconds for it to generate the preview. And there we have it. Within less than 20 to 30 seconds, we have got a nicely stitched video for our preview. So without any intervention, let's just gonna give a quick playback and see what the AI has suggested for us. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. We can protect ourselves and help prevent spreading the virus to others if we follow these steps. 1. Wash your hands regularly for 20 seconds, with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. 2. Cover your nose and mouth with a mask when around other people. 3. Avoid close contact, 1 meter or 3 feet, with people who are unwell. 4. Stay home and self-isolate from others in the household if you feel unwell. And, last but not least, 5. Don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth if your hands are not clean. Stay healthy, stay safe. This is a public service message brought to you by, designs.ai. Alright, that is relatively easy, right? The video has been stitched nicely with text, music, and a voiceover. Let's briefly run through VideoMaker's editing interface. On the left-hand side, we have the Assets, Text, Transition and Audio panel. And in the center, we have our Preview panel. On the right-hand side, we have our Option panel. And at the bottom, we have our Timeline panel. We can sort of scroll through our timeline or zoom in to take a closer look. Now let's try to select a scene and change the footage of the scene. Let's click on our first scene and the asset tab will be automatically highlighted. As you can see from the search bar, there are some automatically pre-populated keywords. So let's just scroll through and pick another footage that suits our needs. Let's go with this one for instance. And there we have it. You can just click the play button for a quick preview. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. We can also scale our footage or position them by clicking and dragging the footage on our preview panel. But this doesn't look quite right. So what I'm going to do is just um, do a media quick fit. And we have two buttons here. One is to fit to the width. As you can see, my media has been scaled to fit to the width or fitting to the height. There are also some scene effects that we can apply. For instance, zoom out or zoom in our scene. To best illustrate this example, let's select another scene and this time we will use image as our example. Under assets tab, select image and we will use our own image. We can do that by clicking the upload image button. Over here, it shows my own uploaded images. We're just gonna click this, select, 
and it will be loaded into our scene. We are just going to scale down the text so that we can see our background image a bit clearer. So as you can see, the image is scaled into a rather large size. We are just going to scale to our dimension. Or again, we can use the media quick fit button. For this instance, we we'll just fit to the width and maybe just scale it a bit larger. Alright, let's change the scene effect. Give it a bit of uh, zoom in and maybe towards this direction while the zoom states how much zoom you want to apply. Now let's give it a quick playback. We can protect ourselves and help prevent spreading the virus to others if we follow the. Okay, that looks about right. The image formats that Video Maker support are JPEG and PNG, so feel free to use those image formats. We can also upload our own videos to be used in Video Maker. Now let's select a scene where we wish to change the video. Perhaps this last scene. We are a similar step. Go to Assets, Videos, and select Upload Video. And over here, I've pre uploaded the video, so let's just select this. And let's do a quick preview. Stay healthy, stay safe. This is a public service message brought to you by designs.ai. So Video Maker supports MOV and MP4 video formats. Since there are some text that looks a bit out of place, we are just gonna quickly edit them. Let's go back to our scene 2. Now the text seems a bit too small. So we are just going to adjust it. Click on it and the right hand side panel will show the options for the text. We have some font selection, the text size and some text settings over here. We can also choose, we choose the text color here or the elements color here. We can even change the opacity of this text but we just leave it at full opacity. And we can set the animation of the text here or how we want to, the text to appear in. So let's try flying in from left for instance. We can put and then we can see it actually flying in from left. Alright. So right now, um, to quickly fit this text, what I can do is just press this text fit button. Alright, and you fit it to um, the sort of like dimension of our chosen uh, orientation. We can double click into the text. Do some further edits and click done. Once done, let's just hit the text fit and the text will be automatically fitted again according to our selected dimension. And if you notice on the left hand side panel, there are several text styles that we can choose. But we're just going to stick with this uh, basic text style. Next, let's take a look at transitions. We can change transitions between scenes by clicking on the T icon or via the left hand side transition tab. If we mouse over a transition, we can see the preview. And for this example, let's just choose simple zoom. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. We can protect ourselves. So now the transition has been changed to simple zoom style. If we wish to apply the same transition across all, simply hit apply to all. As you can see, transition have been applied to all sections. And the last tab that we have is the audio tab. It's where we can choose uh, our music. Let's scroll through what sort of music here in our collection. Alright, let's give it a preview. Okay, click on it and the new music will be applied to the video. Over on the right hand side, you can sort of tweak the music volume and the voiceover volume. Now for this purpose, let's reduce the music volume and increase the voiceover volume so we can have a clearer voiceover. 2. 
cover your nose and mouth with a mask when around other people. To cater to different social media video platforms, Video Maker allows us to change our dimension on the fly. On the top here, we can see three buttons. This button on the left is the horizontal ratio, which is widely used in YouTube. And then we have the most widely used ratio, the square ratio, uh, is common across all Facebook. And lastly, we have the vertical orientation or the 916 ratio, which is used in most Facebook or Instagram stories. Just click on it to switch it, and we can straight away see it on our preview panel. And as you can see, the text is automatically fitted according to the dimension that we have selected. So that's a simple way where we can switch our dimensions around. All we are lacking now is a bit of branding presence on the video. So for that, we are going to upload and use our own logo. Select the logo button. And on the right hand side panel, click upload logo. I've again pre-uploaded the logo. So let's select this. And it will automatically appear on our preview panel. We can shift the position around, scale it, or even rotate it, but we're just going to keep it straight and also tweak the opacity. And we can also toggle our voiceover real quick via the buttons here. The best way to prevent on Or we can even introduce subtitles if we deem fit. And lastly, we have the script button where we can reset our whole script. But do note that all of your current progress will be replaced upon resubmission of the script. So only do this if you feel like you need to start from scratch. Now once we're happy with our project, we can go to the download panel, download tray, and there's actually a PDF preview button where you can generate PDF storyboards. Let's just select one and click download. Once ready, the link will appear. So we just click and view the storyboard. So it's complete with your title, the mood, intro and all the scene description and script. We can then share this um, to our colleagues or as a, as a, as a medium to share our ideas. Video Maker saves our progress every regular interval, so there's no worry about losing our project's progress. And over on our projects panel or projects dashboard, we can always go back and sort of like view at all the past projects that we have created. And as you can see, all of our scenes are saved accordingly. Well, that's about it really. Hope you guys will give it a try and let's see what sort of videos that you guys can create. Now remember, we are also giving out free video maker credit worth $66 to get you started on your first marketing video. All you have to do is to subscribe to Designs.ai's YouTube channel or follow Designs.ai's Facebook page and comment below with video maker credit to get your free credit. Until next time, stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye.